Lena, thanks very much for joining us. Um, it will be good just to get uh, an introduction on the company, um, but also the city and region. The Local Development Agency is a public-owned company by the municipality of Arada, and our main focus and core activity is administration of the industrial platforms. At this point, uh, for more than 12 years, we have four industrial platforms in Oradea, and starting with the last two years, we took over also the industrial platforms of the county. This means that by the end of this year, we will have 11 industrial platforms, a lot of possibilities, a lot of prices for purchasing land, entering and investing, uh, fiscal facilities, of course, the possibility to obtain state aid, the state aid scheme will open in 15 June this year for Romania. Also, it's the it's a very attractive state uh, scheme because it's cash back for all investors. Also, inside of, a, of our industrial platforms, we are giving incentive. This means tax-free for the land and uh, building and a lot of supporting services that uh, our company is giving to all our residents. At this point, we have over 115 companies located in industrial platforms, which created more than 10,000 jobs. And we are still developing new areas and looking to find very good possibilities for them to be attractive, to obtain more and more possibilities to access the border of Romania. We are involved in a lot of new projects like an intermodal project, which helps with the logistic costs, also with the cargo terminal that we will be having functional by the end of this year. A lot of projects regarding research and development with the university or other is the university city. We have four universities, one owned by the state and four private universities. Everything that you need to have in the city that you are living in, I, I do believe that Oradea is able to offer. It's a vibrant city, it's an art nouveau city. The city invested a lot in infrastructure and a lot in increasing the level of life, whatever it takes for having good air, good transport possibilities, and also having green areas for uh, spending your time after work. And there's a lot of focus, Alina, on logistics at the moment in terms of the uh, real estate and real asset side. Um, how important is that sector for Oradia? Let's say that Oradia attracted so many investors exactly for the position that we have on the map. We are on the border with Hungary. This means that the exit to Western Europe, it's very easy. For example, from our industrial platform number one, it's about 10 kilometers until the border. Whatever we did in Oradea and uh, in Bihor County was to increase the mobility, to uh, decrease the cost of logistics for all the companies that are located here and very focused on this. As I mentioned, all of our projects are to put in value all our resources. And uh, Alina, in terms of the demand from investors, uh, are you seeing that both from international as well as domestic investors? Um, what's the makeup of the companies who are looking to invest in the region? Uh, it's a mixture. It's a lot of um, local investors that are coming from Romania or further re from the region to develop, to increase their businesses, and also a lot of foreign business. Uh, we have everything, <laughs> everybody from Europe, everybody from Asia, uh, including uh, the States. So a lot of um, companies that are located here. Of course, there is a big focus on automotive industry in Oradea, as we are very close to the border. And of course, Hungary and Germany are very focused on this automotive and a lot of, the, of their suppliers are located here. Also, what is important to know is that BMW will uh, open uh, the new factory in Debrecen, which is 70 kilometers from Oradea. And a lot of their suppliers, their clients and so on, everybody is, is searching now for a, for a new plant. Great to be able to spotlight a region and a city um, that people may not be so familiar with. So really interesting to catch up. And thanks very much for joining us, Alina. Thank you. Thank you, Richard.